see we have 25 people on the call. I hope many others will join. Okay, so let's start. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, so before we get into the stand-up, let me make some announcements. Uh, so uh, we have updated the challenge document. Uh, it's now more detailed uh, about the submission. Uh, and also uh, we posted uh, a schedule for yesterday and today. Uh, but I posted it yesterday, so you can find that in the broadcast um, channel. Uh, and the other main thing is we have submission today. As we all know, uh, submission time is 8 p.m. UTC. Um, so just to uh, recap about yesterday, let's summarize it. So yesterday we had a daily stand-up in the morning, uh, and then we had a tutorial session with Kerod on uh, data visualization using Google Sheet and other tutorial, and another tutorial in the afternoon with Ayaya on data analysis technique. We also had a community building session with Emilia, which was so fun. Um, yeah, and to, so the yesterday's uh, tutorials are now up in uh, our YouTube channel, so you can find it there. I've also put the link uh, in our Slack channel. You can find it. So anyone who missed yesterday's tutorials, stand-ups, you can uh, find it there um, now. Um, so yeah. Um, so uh, uh, today, just to uh, review the schedule, today we have a tutorial on RBM strategies with Yaya, And then we're going to have another career challenge introduction uh, to, to, and also tutorial with uh, Miriam. And as I said, we'll have a uh, submission in the day. So just to uh, give some, uh, some description about the submission as people were asking uh, the um, submission format. So, the updated uh, document is pretty much clear, but let me just uh, say it out here too. So we're going to have a single PDF uh, file for the interim uh, submission, which is today. So it's going to be, a, it's, uh, it should be a minimum of two and a maximum of six pages. So today's submission is to keep, to, to keep you guys on track with uh, completing the project by uh the end of the submission so this is just to see the progress that you guys are making and so uh we're expecting uh for you guys to submit a minimum of task one task one being completed and also reflected and ideally if you guys uh are able to uh submit parts of task two uh in the submission so for final submission, we're going, we're expecting a PDF format as the interim submission and a set, set of slides in PDF, which is uh, three to ten pages. Uh, yeah, so that's um, basically uh, the uh, the details I can say about the submission. But if anyone have any question on the submission uh, content, let's hear it. Anyone can speak. There's no question. Everything is clear. But I'll also be posting the uh, submission criteria in the Slack channel. So you can always reach out to us, to the tutor team. And yeah, and also me. I'm thinking you guys are um, in line with it. Okay, so um, that's it from my side. But I would like to hear uh, the progress you guys are making, uh, how yesterday went, uh, could be through the trainings, uh, I mean, to, through the tutorials, and also when you are doing the assignments on your own. Could be anything, but let's hear it. So. Uh, okay, uh, I have I, uh, Irene, Irene, I'm not sure if I'm saying your name correctly, I'm sorry. Okay, 
Good morning. Good morning. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Irene Dushime Owinez. I'm from Rwanda. Uh, thank you so much for this guideline and explanations. Uh, and I want to ask the, the, the data that you provided there from three different countries, are we expected to do the like analysis for each country and a visualization of data from each country? And the second question goes like, if possible, you could help us with just those guys who are not familiar with data analysis with these AI tools or other recommendations that could help us to complete these tasks. Thank you. Um, thank you. So, uh, uh, for the data that were provided, you're correct. Uh, there are three sets of data. So, it's provided as three because it's uh, so we thought uh, you, it would give you guys a broader uh a broader information about the data but you can always use one uh right not nine yeah hello uh you can use one uh, but make sure if you are just using one make sure you are going much deeper but after that you, you can always duplicate uh your analysis for the next country just focus on, on one for now, and in, in the next phases, you will actually repeat those, this, the, the same process for the other countries. I hope that is clear. Yeah, and also I think he asked if there are any other suggestions for people who are not familiar with data analysis. I'm thinking AI tools. Um, I think. Oh, okay. For the data analysis part, uh, just make sure to follow up on the tutorials. Uh, just uh, enough for uh, teaching you how to uh, do data analysis using uh, Google Sheets. We don't expect much deeper analysis, so just if you follow up correctly, you will get it done. Uh, thank you. Uh, you can speak. Um, um, Okay, thank you so much. Uh, I really understand that what you have to do, but uh, I, I got confused about the tutorials. The tutorials that you are talking about are they that 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 are uploaded on Ten Academy YouTube channel, or I've missed the other tutorials. I'm very confused. Oh, uh, they're now uploaded. You you couldn't find it because I can provide the link. I will provide them. Um, okay. um, let's move to Shalom. Okay, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Um, yes, I, if my question is, I don't know if it's, it's not really a question, it's my, it's a concern because I have been trying to run the data analysis. I spent hours, but I have not gotten it because I tried to create a pivot table, but I don't know if the date did. It looks like the data is too much to grasp on the pivot table, and I don't know how to navigate. If I have to cut down the data, I'm trying to grasp on the pivot table. I don't know what, which of the metrics I'm supposed to pick on to do my pivot table. So. That has been a concern for me, and it has been a challenge since, like, since yesterday I've been on it. So I don't know which um, assistance I can get with regards to that. Um, um, uh, you can, uh, you can get guidance from the tutorial team. So you can always um, text them. Uh, through Slack, and if it's uh, necessary, then they could also schedule a uh, meet to explain. Uh, 
what you're not ready. Okay. So it's so your it's always your uh, 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 welcome to welcome reach out to the tutor team. Okay, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, and I'm and seeing I'm in the comment section from Kony, if I'm not um, reading your name correctly, I'm sorry. Uh, so please, I'm still yet to know what the assignment is all about. So I'm gonna attach the first challenge introduction um, session link in the comment section right now. And uh, you can find it uh you can you can find it there um i hope you'll get a uh, clarification uh when you see that so let me attach that after the daily i will send you uh the link okay um so what's the what what is last submission time for due for due today uh it's 8 p.m utz so you can submit uh, your assignment and tell them, but the submission uh, platform is going to open, is going to be open in an hour. So yeah, I'll notify everyone when the the platform is open through the links. Um, okay, let's hear more. Okay, I see Esther. Oh. Okay, hi. Hi. I I have a question on the 10x learning platform on the email that you sent when i click the link uh, when i try to log in it tells me that invalid uh password or username so i don't know how to go about it because i've used the same password that i used when i was registering Uh, you might be using the wrong instance, so I let me put the link here. Uh, for I, I, I think the problem with her is like you have okay. to reset your password like first before you use uh, the one that you use for the application. So what you have to do is just use the email, and get on the provided uh, link, you would be able to reset your password by clicking for your password, and then you would be able to log in. Just one of the things that you have to use is using the email that you have. For the registration, but the password will not work. There are different systems. Okay, thank you. So Esther, you can try that, and if you still have a an issue, then you can also DM uh, Barakat. Um, okay, Kero, um, do you want to say something? Yeah. I have been uh, seeing some issues with the data related to the data and creating people tables. So I would advise you to uh, have a separated sheet or a separated uh, pivot for a number of columns. Uh, so you can classify the table into three parts or four parts and create a pivot for each. Uh, so uh, because I think the Google pivot only allows around 400k of uh, sales, and the data we provided is around uh, 900,000 euros. So you can do do that. I hope you, that helps. Shalom. Yes. Thank you, Sophia. Um, so thank you so much. I'll do that. We can also. Uh, uh, ask your questions on Slack, and we are happy, happy to help. Uh, okay, let's hear from others too. Does anyone, anybody want to um, tell us about how their day went yesterday, what's their plan for today? Anyone? I'm looking at 41 people, so. I think to answer the, like prior amongst question, uh, there might be some updates from our side that we have done. You might see uh, these 500. One of the things that you can do is just reset your clutch on your browser uh, clutch and you would be able to log in again. So 
that's the only uh, way you can solve this problem. So it just was there was an update that we push that's causing the issue. So make sure to reset your if you see this problem, make sure to reset your process, uh, to reset your patch. Um, Benefit, can you type that in the comment section? Okay, I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll write that. So, Sultan is saying the plan for today is to work on some analysis. That's great. Let us know, the, let us know your progress. Anyone doing the analysis today or any anything? Oh, Leah is also uh, doing analysis today. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, Barakat. So if uh, anyone doesn't have a question, I think I would like to show you like how are you going to submit your submissions uh, on Tenix. So it would be available before the end of today. Well, before the submission deadline so i would just show you a demonstration of how are you going to submit uh, your assignments and see my screen Yes, it's summing up. We can okay, see the okay. screen. Yeah. So in the assignment section, like when you log in with your system, once the assignments are provided, you would be able to see uh, this kind of list. So you would choose the specific week you are in. So now it is uh, this specific assignment, and you are going to submit your link. So for the link that you are going to provide, make sure that the link is publicly accessible and like anyone can see it. So, and then when you pre preview it, if it's a report, you will be able to see in a way, in this way. So once you review it and like, if the provided link is uh, publicly available in, uh, in the Google Drive, uh, you would be able to, sh to see the preview and you would be able to submit. So always make sure that the preview is coming in this way, if you are submitting a Google Drive link. If you didn't give us access, uh, it, it, it won't work. So pro provide anyone with the link to have access and you will be able to provide your submission. So once you prove it, you can say done and you will be able to submit your assignment. So we will be able to see and review your work. So make sure to follow these steps while submitting your assignment. If you have any questions, we can have a discussion in this one. Somewhere? You can go. Okay, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear. Okay, thank you. Uh, I just want to know that is there any template that we can use for submission? Not the... uh, <laughs> So, uh, as mentioned in the challenge document, there are no templates uh, provided and no yeah. templates will be provided. Okay, so we can just use our service. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank but you. make sure uh, you follow the the guidelines that are listed in the challenge documents or the report mm -hmm. contents. Or, for example, it is listed as so yeah. uh, the steps are clearly listed there. So make sure to follow that. Okay. Okay. Thank Like we want to see how creative you are. Like we, we don't want to provide a specific guideline or format that you are going to follow, but we want to see how creative you are and how how can you bring those details. So it's up to you, but just follow the guidelines. So is there any other question? Suggestion, maybe? No? 
Okay, uh, Emilian, do you have any anything to say? No, uh, I don't have anything to say. I would just uh, tell everyone to attend CBS. Today we have an amazing CBS, so I would just send a reminder. Yeah, okay. that's it. Okay, thank you. Thank you all for uh, attending. Uh, I hope to, to see you in the tutorial session. Don't miss that. And also the submission. So I'll be attaching the submission uh, guideline in the uh, all week slack channel yeah if you guys uh have anything to ask or to uh if you guys need any support you can always uh reach out to the training team or us so yeah thank you thank you guys have a good day